Are we live? Are we live? I think we're live. Right, let's press the button. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Go. Hello, good morning, welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I've just been trying to tag everyone in. I don't think it's worked though. I might try that again in a second. All right, we are here, we are live, we are ready to rock and roll and dive into day three of Client Attraction Alchemy. So as you're joining me, say hi in the comments. I'm just getting myself set up. I don't know why I feel all over the place this morning, all over the place, um, but I'm super excited to be here with you. I couldn't even tell we were even live. I was like, what's going on? Are we live? Are we not? Um, okay. All right. I can see you now. It's beginning to work. Fabulous. So we made it to day three. We have made it to day three. Who's here who's done day one, two, and now you're ready in set for day three? How many of you are like doing this hardcore? You're ready. You're rocking. You're rolling. You're all in, baby. You're ready to transform your client's attraction success. Give me a little like, yes, me. Yes, me, the comments were a little love heart. How many of you have made it to today, which is freaking epic, by the way, but maybe you need to catch up on day one or day two. Is there anyone who's missed any of the other days? Let me know if that's true. Um, I am definitely feeling a bit better today. My book, like not 100% still, but definitely in the right direction. My voice is a bit better. My face is a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> my chest is a bit better so we're rocking and rolling and I am really excited about the session that I've got lined up for you today now I need to tell you today we are going off piste we are completely going off piste I am not diving into what I originally planned to share with you why well because when the inspiration comes in you've got to grab the inspiration right so there are a number of pieces that I was sat here just before going live I was like oh yeah yes, 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 yes. Like I need to share all these things. I need to tell you all these things. These are really important, epic, awesome pieces. So we are going off piece. Now that means that I don't have a workbook for you yet. I'm going to have to create it after this session because I'm not going to use the workbook that I planned. Um, that means those of you who have done this experience with me in the past, you've got a nice surprise today. Um, and that means, well, who knows where it's going to go. We're just going to lean into the magic. We're going to allow the universe to channel through uh, whatever like pieces of golden nuggets it desires to share with you today. And we're going to just allow ourselves to surrender, surrender to the magic um if you're ready to surrender to the magic type in surrender to the magic all right um i am in a little bit of a silly mood today i guess just because one i'm excited and two i'm feeling a heck of a lot better um so yes um and that's either going to be amazing for you because you love a bit of silliness or you're going to be like oh my god she was already a little bit too like oh, pushing it out there a bit too much now claire uh, anyway i'm really excited to be with each and every one of you I am just going to try and do that at everyone's tag because it doesn't look like it works. And I do want to make sure that everyone finds this because I think some people are struggling. So let me just, oh, it's letting me do at highlight. Let me try that, shall I? At highlight, light now, now for day three. Let's see if that works. Let's cross our fingers and hope it does. Okay. Oh, now I've frozen. Why have I frozen? Who? Am I frozen? I think I've frozen. Oh no, we've surrendered and we've frozen. Have we actually frozen everybody? Let me come back over here. What's going on? Can you see me or am I frozen? Am I just frozen on my screen? Or am I frozen for everyone? Hmm. Everyone's saying no. Does no mean I'm not frozen? Am I just, you can all still see and hear me. Okay, it's just my screen that's frozen. I'm like, I'm totally frozen. What's happened? I can still see your comments though, so that's good. You don't look frozen here. All right. <laughs> that's the weirdest thing. That's freaked me out a little bit. Let me see if I can just like refresh that. Um, I thought I'd literally been kicked off. There we go. There we go. It's working now. Perfect. <laughs> Please, technology gods, 
pray to the technology gods, let's get all this working. Right, so we are officially diving into day three. I've got a lot to share with you today. We really want to get a bit more specific now about what makes your message magnetic. How do we really begin attracting clients to you? Because essentially there are kind of three pillars to this, right? And so today I want to take you through what those three pillars really are. I want to help you gain more clarity on what's been happening so far that's, that's meant there's a block on what you're doing. You haven't had the level of success that you desire. You want to grow more. You want to go further. You want to attract a bigger, super aligned audience. But you feel like no matter what you do, you're hitting your head against a brick wall. So I really want to dive into some new elements today that we haven't covered so far that could well be the pieces that are holding you back. Because when it comes to client attraction, it's obviously one piece, one key piece. It's the it's the heart, it's the blood of our businesses, right? We need to be attracting new clients to us consistently, but not just any clients. We want those super aligned clients that we absolutely adore to work with, who get epic results from working with us, right? We want it to feel easeful. We want it to feel in flow. We want it to feel like the perfect match. We want to be waking up every single morning excited to be building these businesses that we're building. So there are certain elements that we need to bring into play to actually achieve this. And what I'd like you to think about in terms of like the structure of your business, how you get all of this working is it's like this big, beautiful jigsaw, right? And when you first begin your business, you kind of got all these jigsaw pieces. They're upside down. They're the wrong way around. They're scattered all over the place. And you look at it and you're like, holy where do I even begin? Like, how do I even start piecing these pieces together? And then you begin learning and you begin moving forwards and slowly you start figuring it out and you start putting the pieces around the edges and it starts to kind of form a bit of a picture. And then the more pieces that come together, the more they come together, the more they come together. But occasionally we get pieces that just don't fit. We get pieces that we're like, where the heck does this piece go? Like I've literally tried flipping it and changing it and turning it. I can't figure it out. This is what happens on our journey to building our businesses. We have the desire. We have all the jigsaw pieces. They're laid out in front of us. But there's this steep learning curve that happens it by which we actually have to learn how to pull them all together, flip them the right way around, put all the pieces in. And it can be you've just got a couple of pieces that are missing, that are upside down, that are the wrong way round, that currently don't fit, that are causing some real problems in your business. And so as we continue to dive into all things client attraction, I want you to think of it a little bit from this perspective. I want you to imagine your own jigsaw. And I want you to just ask yourself now, how complete is your jigsaw? Are you literally just starting from scratch and all the pieces are all over the place? Do you feel like you've built some structure into your jigsaw, but you've got pieces missing? Does it feel like your jigsaw is nearly complete, but it's so freaking frustrating because there are still these couple of gaps that, see, that are making all the difference between it being the full picture and it not? Like, So just type this in and tell me in the comments whether this resonates with you and, and what state your jigsaw is currently in. And here's the thing. If it feels like we don't have all the pieces, we keep on going, right? You don't just like... You don't go, oh, like this, this jigsaw is broken. This jigsaw doesn't work. And we've got to have the same approach when it comes to our businesses. We've got to try to be less emotionally involved in the success of our business so that when it feels like things aren't working, it doesn't feel heartbreaking. It doesn't feel soul destroying. We don't get to that place where we're like, oh, I can't do this anymore because it's literally so freaking hard. We want to get to a place where we can look at it just like looking at a jigsaw and be like, OK, freaking heck, like, let's try this. Let's try that. Let's add in this. Maybe get a bit of help. Mom, help me. Whatever it might be. So. Angel, you're starting to get your ducks in a row. Are we you, using different analogies here? <laughs> Your dog's in a row or your jigsaw pieces in the jigsaw. <laughs> yeah, you just can't find the middle pieces. Awesome. The box has just been dumped out on the floor and you're beginning to sort the edges. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Your jigsaw is upside down. You have a confused jigsaw. <laughs> I'm loving all these comments that you put in, by the way. This is hilarious. Um, okay. I was disillusioned when I started this challenge, but now I am inspired. Whoop. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. Um, the pieces are not quite fitting or maybe I should throw some away I don't think well I don't know the question is when it comes to throwing them away are they pieces for this jigsaw 
or are they pieces that have got into the wrong box, right? Because this is one of the things to remember as we're building our businesses, just like as we're building our lives. Sometimes these sneaky little pieces come in that are not actually for this. And so what we find is, sorry, I need to do this issue, issue, issue. Excuse me. Um, what we what we find is we've got these sneaky pieces that aren't even in this jigsaw. So we have to be like, oh, hang on a minute. You are not this one. You're in a different jigsaw. You're not this one. You're in a different jigsaw. So it's not so much about throwing the pieces away. It's identifying which are the pieces that are for this jigsaw and which are the pieces that have sneakily made their way in, pretending, giving the illusion that they need to be here. And when it comes to us building our businesses, there's a lot of people online who are trying to sneak in some of those jigsaw pieces that are not supposed to be here, who are telling you, no, you've got to have that piece, you've got to have that piece. So you're trying to force it in, force it in, force it in, and you're thinking, why does this not fit? Because it's not for this freaking jigsaw. The jigsaw is your sole business. The jigsaw is building your business in an aligned way for you. The jigsaw is not a one size fits all. It's unique. It's yours. There is no other jigsaw like it on this planet, just like there is no other person like you on this planet. So that means that if you're trying to take someone else's pieces or someone else is trying to force you to put these pieces in and it's just not working, you need to be able to say, hey, no, this is this is not for this jigsaw. Let me move it away. It's, it's for something else. And so as heart-led entrepreneurs, we need to be doing that. Because we're bombarded every day with scarcity marketing that tells us we have to be doing this and we have to be doing this. And if we're not doing this, game over for us, you know? And that's not the truth. We get bombarded by the fads of like, you've got to, like all these quick, fast things. You've got to be doing them all. That's it. It's not true. The thing that's going to build your business in a sustainable, successful way is you leaning into your strengths. Now, are there going to be learning curves within that? Of course, hell yes. Do we need to be able to put our business hat on and approach our business as the like sole led CEO? Yes. Do we need to be able to make business decisions that stretch us, that scare us, that put us on the edge? Absolutely, hell yes. I believe the more that we do of those, the faster we grow. Do we need to be able to put systems and structures in place, recognizing that they don't hold us back, they actually set us free? How many of you are like super creative? Because this is something that I really struggled with for a long freaking time in my business. I am very creative. My mind hops from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. I'm constantly an ideas machine. And I do not like to be put inside a box. Like I'm, I'm a bit of a rebel, right? If someone says you can't do that, I'm like, yeah, watch me. Um, and, and so as I was building my business, I had massive resistance to put it in structures, to put to putting in strategies, to making actually my life simpler, because I was like, oh no, it's gonna pin me down. I don't wanna have to do that. I would tell myself these stories of, but I don't wanna build an email list and I don't wanna have like a funnel and I don't wanna like sort out a system for that and I don't wanna do those things. They don't feel very exciting. They don't feel very soul led. They don't feel very much like around my passion and my purpose. And it took me a while before like finally the penny dropped hallelujah kind of moment when I was like oh shit I've been looking at this completely the wrong way the systems and the strategies and the um like the tech pieces and all of these things are going to support me in doing my soul work they're like the boat that's going to allow me to go across the ocean in my epic adventure and I've been trying to do it without the freaking boat so as we continue to go through th through these next few days and the masterclasses and everything else that I've got to share with you, I want you to notice whether you have any resistance to any of like the business pieces, to any of the strategies, to any of the systems, to any of the tech. And I know the tech can be a big one that comes up for people. It used to for me too. And I want you just to try and look at it from a different perspective and be like, oh, actually, this is the thing that's going to set me free ultimately. Knowing how to build an email list so I can create deep connection with my people is going to feel so good. What doesn't feel good? Oh, I've got to send an email every single week. That doesn't feel good because that's a to-do thing. There's no connection in it. 
Whereas if you're feeling connected to your people and you're like, hey, like this is what I really want to share today. I just want to show up and I want to tell them this thing. A little bit but like when you've got a best friend or you call your mum or whoever it might be and you ring them up and you're like, oh my God, I just need to tell you. Like you don't sit at the phone thinking, oh God, I've got, well, like we talk about people you're excited to talk to, right? Um, it's like you, you're excited, you want to, there's no holding back. You don't overthink it. You don't like play the conversation out in your head. You don't think I've got to wait for a better time. Like, you're eager, you're eager to do it. And so when it comes to us building our businesses, a lot of it is actually our perspective on the things. It's the stories that we're telling ourselves. It's how we approach it and how we view it. So if you build, if you view building an email list as this thing to do, this techie thing to do, that's just another thing on your list and you hate the tech and you struggle with the tech and you just don't want to do it, then of course it's going to feel misaligned. Remember our conversation about alignment the other day. But if you see it as a way that you can connect with your people, as a way that you can share your message, as a way that you can weave your magic, as a way that you can create your dream life and support others in creating theirs, then suddenly it's going to feel a heck of a lot freaking different. It's going to feel like this thing that sets you free, that allows you to be more expansive rather than shuts you down and puts you in a box. And so as we talk about some of these different things, it's all about how you approach it. It's all about how you feel. It's all about like the stories that you tell yourself on a day to day basis that are either going to support you in doing this and allow you to come at it from an energy that's like super freaking aligned so that you're on fire, so that you are pulled or you're going to be in push mode thinking, holy heck, I've got to do this. I've got to do this. I've got to do this. Oh, I've got to do this. Are you with me? So as heart-led entrepreneurs, as soul-led entrepreneurs, we are going to do ourselves a huge freaking favor when we recognize that we can say yes to the systems and the structure and the strategies, how we say yes, how we implement them is the piece that makes all the difference. And if we do it in a misaligned way, we're not going to get great results. But if we find a way to align it to our vision, to our values, to the woman, the man that we're becoming, it's going to be so freaking powerful. It's going to blow you away what you can create with those things. So I told you we were going wildly off track today. I wasn't expecting to share any of that with you, but it's such a powerful piece. And I really want this to hit home because I want you to learn how to embrace this in a, from a place of you feeling truly empowered within your business. Okay. So what are we going to dive into today? We're going to dive into one, two, three, four things, four conversations. The first is we're going to talk about the magic in your message. The second, we're going to tie in the emotional needs. Now, I didn't share that with you yesterday. It was actually part of yesterday's training and I didn't share it. So we're going to loop back to that a little bit. We're going to talk about the actual ingredients for client attraction. What's the step-by-step -step process, the different ingredients, the different jigsaw pieces that you need so that you can create like the finished product. And then finally, I want to talk to you about the Kardashian effect. All right. Sound good. Who's excited for that? Give me a little yes in the comments. Now, before I do, quick bit of housekeeping today, because we have two masterclasses that you will need to sign up for. So as you know, the structure of this is we've got day one, day two, day three, day four, day four tomorrow of the actual experience. But then we've got some pieces that are quite literally the icing on top of the cake. So I've got two masterclasses lined up for you. Both are epic. Both are next level. Both 100% build on what I've taught you this week. But I'm going to share it with you in a way more structured way that's going to literally make you go. Ah! So the first masterclass is the bubble bursting extravaganza right? So once we've put these pieces in place that we're talking through this week, and we've actually transformed the way that you're showing up, your alignment, your message, your soul client, like all of those pieces so that you are on track with it, so that suddenly you are being magnetic when you're showing up in the online space, whatever platform that is. Well, next, we need the bubble bursting strategy, because there are two parts to client attraction. There's activation, and there's the attraction, right? So activation how you begin with activating your current audience and you activate your current audience when you activate yourself. 
when you get excited, when you get aligned, when you show up, when you should need like, hell yes, I'm doing this, it's going to activate your people, right? And I know this because it happened in my business and I've seen it in literally hundreds of clients' businesses at this point too, right? When people go through my academy with me and suddenly they start showing up, sharing their truth, speaking in a different way, it's like ding, 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 ding. All these people are activated who they probably didn't ever even imagine before that would want to work with them. So part of it is activation. But the other part is attracting beyond our bubble. And I mentioned this the other day. The way that social media works now is when you're sharing, when you're showing up, mostly you're inside your bubble. So if you have a small bubble, it's your mum, it's your auntie, it's your brother, it's your neighbours, you're struggling to attract aligned clients, right? How many of you feel like you've got a small bubble or people who are not the right match for your business in your current bubble? Just tell me that in the comments. So if you're just constantly posting and hoping and praying your audience is going to grow, it's going to be a really slow journey. You're going to struggle big time. So we need to speed up that process exponentially. And the way that we speed up that process is with one bubble bursting strategy. So the first masterclass that I'm going to do with you is going to be a masterclass where I teach you, I think it's 11 different strategies. You don't need 11. You're going to get to choose your favorite one, the most aligned one for you and implement that, right? So this is the bubble bursting strategy masterclass. I'm going to literally go and get the link for it right now so that you can sign up while you're here so that you know you're set, you know you've got your place. This one is happening on Sunday evening. So 6.30 Sunday evening. UK time, right? Let me put this in. Hopefully it won't freeze as I do this. Right. I think that's worked. Let me just see if that's gone in okay. Da, 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 da. Can I see it? Can I see it? Oh, I can't see it. Can you tell me if you can see the link, everybody? Yes, there it is. It's gone in now. Just took, There's obviously a bit of a delay. Right. So that's the first one. You need to get yourself signed up for the Bubble Bursting Strategies Masterclass. It's happening 6.30 Sunday evening. If you sign up, you will get a replay sent out to you. I'd love for you to actually join me live if you can. It's not here. It's in Zoom, which is why you need to register because you need to get the Zoom room link, right? So don't turn up in here on Sunday right, looking for me and thinking, where's Claire? Like it's in the Zoom room, okay? So give me a little yes when you signed up for that. That's the first masterclass that's happening. And it goes so powerfully with everything I'm sharing here. You do not want to miss that masterclass. I'm guaranteeing you. This the information that I'm sharing in that masterclass is not available for free anywhere on the internet that I've seen for sure. So it's super valuable. And I think you're going to love it. The second masterclass is going to happen next Tuesday, right? And the second masterclass, I'm going to go get that link for you, is how you go from unknown to paid now, right? So there's one thing that I'm not really talking about this week with you, that has the power to exponentially grow your business in a really short period of time. Within 30 days, you can absolutely transform your business success. I've had clients in the academy who've gone through this, who within using this thing, this strategy that I'm gonna be sharing with you, have gone from making maybe the previous month 500 pounds, 600 pounds, to having their first 10K month to having like an epic selling month. And so I'm going to take you through what that strategy is. I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to break it down so you can see how it works, so that you can look at how you can implement that strategy in your own business to start getting much freaking bigger results now. It is super powerful and you're not going to want to miss it. So here is the second one. This is the second masterclass. So you need to sign up for both of them separately because they're two different classes. This one's happening on the Tuesday. Let me put this one in the link here too. And then you can also get yourself signed up for that. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds, basically. So you can just sign up for both of them. So you know your, your space is saved. Make sure you've got the email. Make sure it hasn't gone in junk because I don't want you to miss this. And just before I go live in the masterclass, if anyone's emailing me, emailing me I'm not going to see it in time, right? Which means you'll miss the masterclass. And I don't want you to do that because it's so freaking valuable. Both of them are going to show you two really key things that are going to make a huge, huge, huge difference in your business. So type in signed up when you're all done and I know you're all set and we're going to carry on. Right. Other quick bits of housekeeping are we've got the competition 
who's taking part in the competition. I forgot to mention the competition yesterday. Like each video, do it now if you haven't. Comment on each video, do it now if you haven't. Do the daily task in the daily task thread. I did notice that less people had done yesterday's task. I'm guessing that maybe it was because it was, it was just busy and there was lots happening, but I would love for you to do that daily task. I'm gonna do the competition winners next Wednesday. That's when we're gonna actually do the competition prize draw pull, okay? So that's happening next Wednesday. Where can I sign in? I've put the link above, just in the in the uh, um, in the comments. Thank you. You'll sign up for them both. Epic, awesome, right? Sorry, I apologise. Blowing my nose on camera. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Final thing to share with you before we dive into the chunk of today's training is the doors are currently open to my most epic, most powerful business transforming program, right? It's a program like no other. If you've been enjoying going through this experience with me, if you like the way that I teach, if you feel inspired by the way that I share, I have created the most freaking epic program that doesn't just teach you how to do the things, that doesn't just support you in implementing them, but also helps you implement them in a way that actually freaking well works, right? So this is a program that takes you step by step through everything when it comes to marketing and growing your business. This is a program that has the ability to take you from zero to 5K months, 10K months. This is a program that even if right now, a six figure business feels like a million miles away and you can't even imagine how it's possible for you, it's going to plant all of those seeds. It's going to get your business growing. It's going to build your audience. It's going to put the structure, the strategies in place. It's going to get you launching. It's going to get you selling. It's going to get you selling out your offers, your programs, your products. It's going to get you receiving finally for the work that you do. And we do it in a super aligned way. We do it in a way so that you can feel abundant as you go. We do it in a way so that you are super supported. I have literally got you every single step of the way. It is a next level program. There's new training that I'm put, putting in there all the time. But more importantly, like the level of support that you get for implementing everything that I teach, because this is the important bit, right? It's not just knowledge, it's wisdom. What is wisdom? It's knowledge applied when it's actually working, when it's actually implemented. I want to get you actually implementing in your business and seeing the results for yourself because there is no reason why anyone here shouldn't have a business that's not making at least minimum 5k months. You deserve it. The market is out there. We just need to tweak and change some of those jigsaw pieces so that it's finally working for you. Like you should not be the broke coach, the broke healer, the heart-led entrepreneur who's doing it from love but not receiving for the work that you do. We need to transform that now. So the Impact and Income Academy is literally how you make an impact doing the thing you love and how you make the income of it that you truly deserve. So it is a big program. I take you step by step through it all for five, six months. We're together in this really incredible journey. I teach you to work smarter, not harder. We put all the things in place and we transform your business big time. It is so powerful. It's a program that I wish I had when I was starting out. Like, oh my God, I wish I had it. So I'm going to be sharing more about that as we go. But just so you know, the doors are open, number one. Um, fast action bonuses are in place. If you pay in full, you get a one-to-one -one with me, which you can't even do anymore. So that's an incredible bonus. And the bonuses that you get as part of that program are totally next level. You're going to love them. The bonuses in themselves are worth the investment in the program. Is it an investment? Yes, it's an investment. You're going to have to invest your time. You're going to have to invest your energy. But what is an investment? Something that you receive back on many folds. And I truly believe the Academy is going to finally open the doors to you receiving big time in your business. I help you put in all of the pieces that you need so you can finally make it the success you desire. So I'm going to be sharing the link to that at the end of today. I'm going to be talking about it more at the end of today. Um, but I want you to know that it's open. I want you to take that leap if, it, if it's calling to you. And there's going to be opportunities to ask all the questions that you've got. OK, and we start in two weeks time, two weeks. So you've got to be ready to rock and roll. But I'm going to teach you how to do this in an aligned way as you live your life. So those of you who are new to this space might not even know this about me. 
But one of my things that are really important in how we build our businesses is that we do it in alignment with our lives. That it's not just about getting there, getting there, getting there. It's how we feel every single day. So as I've built my own business, I've got three children of my own. And to be honest, sorry, a bit snotty. There's a lot of snot going on here. Um, <laughs> as I've built my business, being able to be there as a mom, take them to school, pick them up, go to school plays, like do all of the things has been really important to me. So I believe that as we build our businesses, it's how we feel each and every day on that journey, not just about getting to a destination. And so everything that I share with you during this experience is about that, right? It's about you doing it on your terms. It's about you creating freedom. It's about you living by your values as you build this thing. It shouldn't cost you and it shouldn't cost you something in order to build your dream. Usually when, we, when we're scared, it's going to cost us something. It's a story in our heads. When I first was building my business, I moved back over to the, back over to England and I was trying to get my, I had to homeschool my two boys at, at the time were like uh, six and seven, five and six, six and seven. And um, we couldn't get them into school. So I was having to homeschool them. My eldest um, was really struggling. He, he has Asperger's and the change was really hard for him. And I had my daughter who was just a tiny baby at the time. And I was going through that process of having to like try and build my business and do all the things. And I was really scared that in building my dream business, I would stop being the mum that I was. And being being a good mum was really important to me. Like, like being a hands-on mum, being there for them, like being a super connected mum was like so crucially important. And the thing that kept coming up again and again and again and again for me was like, oh my God, but if I build my business, am I going to have time for my kids and, and the things that are really important to me? To the extent which, by the way, I went to a Tony Robbins event and I like put my hand up, thankfully he didn't choose me, but he chose someone else who had the same question. And he like he was not nice about it. He was like, well, just decide. And I was like, it's not that easy. And then I went to an event, um, for those of you who about do, do let me blow my nose. I'm going off camera to blow my nose. I've not even got any clean tissues. Wait a second. It seems that all the snot's coming out today. Everything that's been stuck in my head is actually coming out now. It's probably a good thing, but I apologise. It's so messy. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, and I went to um, a neurolinguistic programme event with uh, Richard Bandler, for those of you who know who he is. Um, and I put my hands up and he made me stand up and, and I shared that with him. And again, he was like, well, you just decide. I was like, oh my God, these guys don't get this. Anyway, to cut a long story short, what I'm trying to say to you is, what I'm trying to say to you is, the fears that we have about what it might cost us to build our business are usually just that. They're just fears. They're just stories. And actually, when you decide, you get to build your business 100% on your terms. Okay? Right. Let's dive into today's content. Are we ready? <laughs> Alicia says, you're so real. I know. Like, I... I <laughs> shockingly real right uh, but at least hopefully it helps you see that if I can do this you can do this right for sure it's not at all okay let's do this right okay so number one the magic is in your message so what I want you to begin recognizing is the way that you show up online is everything it's the make or break of you grabbing people's attention, attracting the clients that you desire, right? But it's not about crafting the perfect message. It's not about finding gorgeous, sexy branding. What's more important is you allowing your magic to flow through. I believe that each and every one of us has got this magic that lives inside of us. But most of us are holding it in because we're a little bit afraid of how people might judge it if we let it out. When it comes to you building a business online, there is a decision that you have to make. Are you going to allow your magic out? Are you going to allow yourself to be seen? What, snot, and all? Because if you just want to present a perfect, polished version of you to the world, it's not going to work. And there's two reasons that it's not going to work. Number one, it's going to be really hard work. If every time you show up or write a post or share something, you have to spend so long making it perfect, it's going to completely exhaust you. That's the first reason it's not going to work. 
The second reason it's not going to work is, you know what? People want to connect to humans. They want to see you. They want to see your realness. If they wanted someone like big and polished and perfect, they'd just go to a giant company that's kind of faceless, but has all the sexy branding, right? So people follow people on social media for the human connection. And we have to start recognizing that instead of judging our humanness as a negative thing, we get to start seeing it as a positive thing. So when you're thinking about your message, how do you allow yourself to like flow that magic through, right? The first thing is you allow your passion to come through. You need to share the passion about what you do and why you do it. You need to share your passion about what frustrates you, what annoys you. Even as we've gone through this week, I've naturally just like shared stories with you of things that annoy me online, things I'm passionate, like the way that I see the world, what I desire for me, for you, for us, right? So the more that you can allow your passion to come through, the more you're going to connect with your people, like really, truly your people. The people who are not yours, who don't connect with your passion, you literally magnetize away, demagnetize, whatever the word is. Propel away. But it allows you to bring your people. And here's the thing. When we operate from passion, we're unstoppable. Passion is literally like the juice in our engine. When you're building a passion-led business and you're waking up every single day, like actually plugged into that passion, plugged into that purpose, excited about what you get to do and the pathway that you're building and the legacy that you're creating, you are never going to run out of juice. Never, even if you have a cold and snot or whatever else going on in your life, right? You're going to have this juice that literally allows you to go and go and go and go and go. And people will say to you, well, where's it come from? How do you have so much energy? How do you do it all? And it's like, well, actually, the more I tapped into my passion, the more energy was created inside of me. If I look back even five years ago in my business, I did not have the same level of energy I wasn't able to do the same amount of stuff, show up in the same way, hold the same capacity because I wasn't as plugged in and as trusting in my passion, in my purpose as I am today. And what I've realized is that it's not about how much time you have to build your business. It's not about how well you like map out your diary. It's not even about like how much support you have. I now do have support and it's freaking epic. I've got an amazing team that I'm so grateful for. But like at its core, it's your energy. And your energy comes from your passion and your purpose. And when I talk about your energy, I'm not saying that everyone has got to be like, ah! energy can be quiet, energy can be still, but it's powerful. Think about people like Deepak Chopra or or even Joe Dispenza, who I was with last week. Their energy isn't like, ah, let's go. Their energy is like grounded, but it's still powerful. So the more that we can give ourselves to tap into our purpose and our passion, the more that we are going to be juiced up and able to share that in our content, in our social media, it's naturally going to like flow through us. In fact, you're not even going to be able to hold it back. It is like when you show up at a girlfriend's house and you're like, oh my God, I've got the most amazing stories to tell you. You're not going to be able to believe this. And you literally can't wait. You're like, no, no, I'm going to tell you first. I'm going to tell you first. You know that feeling? So how often, this is a question I want you to really, really feel into, honestly. How often when you're starting your day, do you go, okay, let me tap into my passion and purpose. Let me get really freaking excited about what I'm doing today. And let me just allow that energy to flow through me into my content, into my visibility, into my conversations, into my connections to allow the magic to happen. How often do you do that? Or do you find yourself sitting down at your desk and going, okay, where should I start? What did I need to do? Oh, I know there was something I was supposed to do. Like, oh yeah, let me do that. Oh God, I can't do that. What? Let me, oh, there's no ideas. Let me do this. Let me do that. Like, And you kind of hopscotch around the place trying to figure out what you should be doing, trying to do something, second guessing, doubting until you finally get into some kind of flow. And then before you know it, you stop because it's lunchtime and then it takes you ages to get back into it. And then it's like your time's gone and you're like, oh my God, I didn't get through like nearly any of the things that I wanted to get through today. So, Really allowing ourselves to do that is key. 
So that would be the first thing. Second thing is we want to share with our audiences why they should care. Why should you care about the thing that I care about? So if I was doing this in relation to my business, right, I'd be like, right, I am super freaking passionate about putting more wealth into the hands of people like me, like you, so that we get to rise together. People who are heart led, people who are building a business that they're passionate about and feel purposeful around. People who want to make a positive difference in the world. Why am I so passionate about that? Because I believe that that is how we ultimately change the world. That's how we create the world that we desire to see. That's how how we live in a space that has more connection and more care. That's how we live in a space that finally gets over the wars and the other horrendous things that are happening all over the place all the time. We stand in our purpose. We stand in our passion. We say yes. We give ourselves permission to receive more for the work we do, knowing That however we choose to spend that money, we're creating a beautiful ripple effect outwards. That we get to honor ourselves in that process as we also honor others in that process, right? So I am really freaking passionate about helping women, especially because women are less good at it, but also men are giving themselves permission to receive richly for their purpose work to stop overthinking it, to stop pulling themselves down, to actually give them the things that they need to get out there and do the freaking thing to make the bigger impact because the world needs it. And this is how we create the world that we desire to see. Why should you care about this? Because I want you to make the money. I want you to build a business. I want you to wake up feeling that passion inside of you every day. Of course, there's going to be times when you have doubt. Of course, there's going to be times when anxiety comes in. Of course, there's going to be times when you feel like it's difficult and you're not moving forwards. But you tap back into that passion. You get out there and you create that ripple effect in the world. It creates a transformation in your life. You feel like a completely different person. It creates a transformation in the people's lives who are connected to you, your children, your friends, your family. They're inspired by you. They make different choices in their life because of you. You help and serve your clients deeply. They go through a transformation. Their transformation impacts their friends and family and the ripple effect continues and we all get to live in a better place and we all get to live a life that feels like live full out in our truest expression, feeling rich, feeling expanded, being able to say yes, 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 yes and yes. So in my message, I want to put this across to the world. I want to put this across to you. I want you to connect with this within yourself because it's only when we connect with it that we start even thinking about giving ourselves permission to say yes to it. The next part of it that I am really freaking excited about and really passionate about is the fact that believing something is possible is a completely different thing to believing it's possible for us. And I want to help people recognize that as heart-led entrepreneurs, it's not just that, oh, it's possible to build a six-figure business. Oh, it's possible to build a seven-figure business. Oh, it's possible to make a difference in the world doing what I love. Oh, it's possible to have the funds to live my best life. Oh, it's possible to travel the world while I still impact lives. Oh, it's possible. It's not just it's possible for some people. It's possible for you. And the way that we make it possible is by saying, I believe this is a possibility. I believe this could be for me. I'm ready to start walking this pathway. I'm ready to say yes to it. So we want to be sharing this. The message that lives in your heart, whether it's around health, well-being, dog training, Reiki, like goldfish selling, flower arranging, decluttering, like whatever the thing is that you do, tap into why you are so freaking passionate about it because there is something to be passionate about. There is a driving force within that which will transform other people's lives no matter what you do. Do not underestimate the power of the thing that you do because it always has a bigger picture effect than you're recognizing at the time, okay? So we want to begin like tapping into that and those fears and those doubts, we just, we recognize that they're fears and they're doubts. Oh, that's a belief. The fact that I can't do this, it's a belief. The fact that it's going to take me a lot of time, it's a belief. I'm going to do the inner work as I do the external work so that I can create this for myself. Then we help our audience to feel understood. We share how we felt. We share stories. We share examples of clients we've worked with. I will regularly talk about how it felt when I was at that point in my business, 
where we desperately needed money and I did not know what to do. And I was in massive fear mode. And at the time I was listening to all things, law of attraction and everything else that were telling me that I needed to be in the vibration. I was thinking, how the heck do I be in the vibration when I look at my bank account and I go into like serious panic mode? When I was trying to juggle having a little baby and doing the things and, you know, like just trying to figure it all out. Like I remember so deeply how that felt. And there's many times I've shared different stories about that whole journey with my people, with my audience, so that you understand that if it's possible for me, it's possible for you. And I get it. I deeply freaking well get it. I know that frustration of putting in the work and not seeing the results. I know that frustration of not understanding what you're even doing wrong and why it's not working. I know that frustration when the tech doesn't work and you spend hours trying to figure it out and you feel like you've gone just two steps backwards rather than two steps forward. Like when you open the doors to a program and no one buys, when you put your prices down because you don't think anyone's going to be willing to pay that price. When you diminish yourself, when you get into scarcity and fear in your business and you're trying to build it from that place, when you've got that eye on, should I get a job? Should I get a job? Is this ever going to work? Even when you get to those 5K months, those 10K months, that part of you that they think, well, I just got lucky. It was just a fluke. Maybe I'm okay this month. Can I do it next month? So I want to support you so that you know that these feelings, these fears that come up are normal, but you don't need to lean into them. That actually there's another way. And actually you can be in that space where you just expand and expand and expand and it gets better and better and better. One of the beliefs that I took on years ago is the better it gets, the better it gets. Because I used to have this fear of like, I got lucky once and now it's gonna, now it's all gonna fall apart. And so I recoded myself to like, the better it gets, 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 the better it gets. <laughs> literally. So I'm sharing this with you as my example, but I want you to recognize like, what's this for you that you do with your people, that you do with your audience? How do you share your passion? How do you help them connect with that passion so they see it for themselves too? How do you help them feel understood and help them recognize that, yes, they might once have been here, but they can absolutely freaking change it. How do you get them to go from that? Well, it might be possible for some people to actually, yeah, maybe it's possible for me. Maybe I can transform my health, my money, my relationship, whatever it is. We really want to take our, our people on that journey to igniting that passion in them, to helping them see that there is another way to sharing our stories, our client stories, so they feel inspired and they begin to change those limiting beliefs to empowering beliefs that are going to essentially set them free to go and freaking well do this so that they can get over the fear and say yes to working with you. Because we all know that we can show up and we can give free training online. We can like we can do a masterclass here or we can do a workshop here. We can create great content. We can go live. But what's the thing that really creates a transformation with your people? What is it? Tell me in the comments. What's the thing that actually makes the magic happen? It's when people say yes to investing in you or your products. It's when people actually say yes to that thing. And there's two reasons why that is when the magic happens. The first reason is because when we say yes, then we're in. And that inness in itself triggers something. It creates a change. There's a part of us that finally go, okay, holy shit, I'm doing it. I said yes. Even if that's just buying the face cream, even if that's like, booking the first call, like whatever it might be, there's something that shifts, there's an energy shift that happens. The second reason is because that's when you can actually weave your magic. That's when you can actually facilitate that transformation. That's when you can teach them and share and coach to move them from where they are now to where they desire to be. And so you want to be able to share that with your people, not from a place of feeling salesy or pushy, but from knowing that when people say yes to that investment, working with you, finally, like daring to, finally giving themselves permission to, whether it's a small investment or a big investment, it doesn't actually matter. How do we support them in recognizing that this is what they want and desire and need, and we allow them to feel safe in saying yes to that thing that has the ability to transform their life in whatever way, in whatever area you particularly work your magic in? 
Yeah, exactly. Anna says, I had a client feel the shift the moment she clicked the payment button. And I've done that, right? And I've had many clients who've said that. Literally, the moment I said, yes, things started to change. When I've made some of the biggest investments in my business, it hasn't actually, you know, like the shift has happened inside me in that moment of going, yes, I'm going to make this investment because this is me declaring to the universe, I am freaking ready. I am playing a bigger game. So how do you share this with your clients, your people, so that they recognize how powerful this is? Because actually we're doing our, we're doing our audience, we're doing our people a disservice when we don't. Because what happens if you just stay stuck. We've all been there a million times, right? We're stuck in a place, we've got a problem, or we desire something different. And we just go round and round and round in circles. We tell ourselves all the stories, I'm not ready yet, now's not the right time, I can't afford it, what if it doesn't work? All the other things, like what else have we got? <laughs> like, we, we just stay stuck and we just go round and round. And some people spend their whole entire freaking lives going round and round and round and round and round and never actually figuring out the thing. Life is definitely too short to do that, right? So it's when we help our clients recognize that they might be, here's, here's the thing, it's because people are, people get, even though people's comfort zones are often not comfortable. They're often uncomfortable because they come with a set of problems. But people are so used to those problems, it feels easier to just keep having those problems than to dare to say yes to something different, yeah? Because when you say yes to something different, you're in the unknown. And as humans, we fear the unknown, right? It's like deep down in us when actually it's like the magic, it's the expansive space. So people will stay stuck in their problem because they know it so well, and they tell themselves this story that they prefer to stay in the problem because ah, they're sort of known and I don't know what will happen. Well, what's the worst thing that could happen? At least something's going to freaking well change and you're not just going to stay in this cycle forever. Like just wishing that something will change. So how do we share that in a place that comes from our passion and comes from our heart with our audience? None of it is manipulative. None of it is trying to change people's minds. It's all about actually like speaking the truth as we see it, setting ourselves free and setting our audience free. I can see lots of you are like kind of saying nothing. There's often what we call the secondary gain in keeping the problem other than avoiding the unknown. Absolutely, Gaia. Yes, definitely. There's, there's always like a secondary gain as well. So this is all part of your message. This is part of what you should be showing up and talking about with your audience. But how often do you actually do it? Because how often do you get a little bit scared that you might upset people or that people don't want to hear it or that you don't even allow yourself to plug into your passion so that you can share it? Like the first thing we need to be doing in our businesses in the morning is like plug into the passion in whatever way you desire to do it for you. It could be a visualization. It could just be a breath. It could just be like feeling into it. It could be journaling. It could be meditation. It could be like that. Could be stretching. It could be anything, right? It doesn't matter what it is. The important thing is that you do it, right? So, within this, the thing to remember is there are essentially four things I believe that make people magnetic, and that will make your message magnetic. Who can guess the four things? I think there's quite a long time delay on me speaking and you seeing it. So the four things I want you to remember when it comes to your message and the thing that makes both your message and you magnetic is number one, number one, your energy. Your energy is one of the things that's magnetic about you. I want you to think about the people that you follow in the world across whatever industry or wherever. Think about the energy that they have. When you think of us as humans, rather than aliens, I don't know what I'm comparing it to. When you think of like the human being, we are an energetic being, we're an electrical being, right? So we have an, an, an electrical field around us. And the stronger our electrical fields, the more magnetic we are. We all know some people who have a really strong magnetic field. Those people who walk into the room and everyone's like, 
they just notice them. It's like, whoa, who is that person? It's like they light up the room. And we also know people who have a really low magnetic field who like blend in, disappear, like you overlook them without even realizing it, right? So as heartland entrepreneurs, we want to make sure that we're feeding our electric field, that our energy is high. When I say our energy is high, I am not talking about you bouncing off the ceiling. I am not talking about you being like rah, rah, rah. I'm not talking about you being loud or any of those kind of things. I'm talking about you having a strong magnetic field, a powerful presence. That might take the form of like, ah, or it might take the form of like, because it's your unique signature. It's your unique like energy blueprint. So the first thing I want you to think about is how much time and effort do you put into building your magnetic field so that you have that powerful presence as you show up, as you share your message, as you build your business. That's the first thing. And I imagine that every single person you think about that you follow, that you enjoy listening to or watching or reading or whatever it might be, has a high magnetic field. It's big, it's powerful. The second thing is the second thing that makes a person magnetic is their belief. We naturally want to follow people who hold those beliefs so that we can attune to that frequency too. It's like we have this little beacon inside of us that guides us. Oh, there's someone, there's someone. Let me get into that space so that I can attune to that energy and that belief system for myself. Really powerful. So we actually almost like sort out, sort out, is that the word? Like we search unconsciously for those people who hold the beliefs that we desire to have. Now, sometimes if we're not ready, those people will trigger us big time. We'll be like, oh my God, I can't stand that person. But we don't really know why. And it's because they've allowed themselves to hold a belief that we want to be able to have, that we haven't given ourselves permission to have. So belief is the second thing that makes a person magnetic. So how fully do you hold the belief of what's possible for you, for your clients, about life? How often do you work on your beliefs as part of your business growth? The third thing is obviously your message. We've just talked about that. The way you show up, what you say, how you share, the content that you give, the value that you share. And then the final thing, I believe, is authenticity. Because we don't want to be putting on a front. We want to be able to show up in our truth, in our essence, being the fullest expression of us. So I want you to just fill into those four points for a moment. I want you to think about how much time and effort do you, do you put into feeding this? Because this is almost like, this is the fertile soil in which you plant the seeds for your business to grow. And if the soil isn't fertile, if the soil has none of the nutrients that it needs, the energy, the belief, the message, the authenticity, then it doesn't matter what seeds you plant, they're not gonna grow to their fullest potential. So we need to make sure that you, the fer you, you, you are a fertile soil as you plant these seeds within you so that all of these things can bloom and grow and it can be like just so freaking beautiful, abundant, full of life. Number three was message. So it was energy, belief, message, authenticity. So as we build our businesses, it's both sides of the coin. Who am I being? What am I choosing? How am I doing the inner work? How am I feeding my energy? How am I feeding my beliefs? How am I allowing my message to come through? How am I giving myself permission to be authentic? And then the strategy, the structure, the plans, that's all super freaking soul aligned, but allows you to take things to the next level. Okay, so you love this, such a great way of explaining this. Thank you, Nikki. All right, so this ties into the conversation that we had yesterday around the primary needs. We talked about the primary needs being money, health, relationships, status, meaning, yeah? And I got you to think about how the thing that you do in your business ties into that. Well, the flip side of this that I didn't have time to go into with you were the emotional needs of your clients, of your audience. So as well as thinking about whether it's money or health or relationships, that is ultimately the thing that you're selling in your business. I also want you to think about what are the emotional needs that you meet of your people? So 
There are five emotional needs, okay? I'm going to go through these with you, and then we're going to tie up today with the ingredients for an aligned, abundant business growth. <coughs> okay. How can I get to my higher vibration? What do I have to do? We have to start doing the inner work. We have to start feeding the wolf that we want to win. You, you all know this story. You, you probably heard me say it a million times. I mess it up every time. Grandfather telling his son this story about these two wolves that fight every night. And one is good and one is bad. And these wolves like rip each other apart and they just keep on fighting and keep on fighting. And the little boy says, oh God, granddad, that sounds awful. Which wolf wins? And the granddad says, the, the wolf that wins is the wolf that you feed. Because of course it gets stronger. So every day we need to be asking ourselves the question, which wolf am I feeding? Am I feeding the wolf that is empowered, that's going to allow me to do this, that's full of empowering, gorgeous, abundant beliefs? Am I literally feeding, nourishing, nurturing this wolf? Or am I feeding the wolf that says, I can't do this. It's scary. It's too hard. You know, we all have reasons that we could use to not build these businesses. We all have stories that say why I, I can't particularly do this. You know, my stories were things like, I'm just a girl next door. Who's interested in me? I have nothing interesting to share. I have nothing different to give. I live a really normal life. I had things like, I'm creative and scatty and chaotic. Who's going to want to listen to me? I had things like, I'm freaking weirdo. Like growing up, I was the weird one who people would like push aside because I, I operated differently to most people. People are going to think I'm a freak. I had things like, I've always suffered from anxiety. How can I build a business when I suffer from anxiety? How can you build a successful business if you suffer from anxiety? Well, you learn to work with your anxiety. You get the tools so that actually it's no longer impacting you in that way. We all can have like a million reasons not to, but are we going to listen to those reasons? Are we, are we going to let those reasons stop us or are we going to start feeding the other wolf? And I think that this is what it is. And it's just, just doing it again and again and again. And the more conscious that we can become around our thoughts, around our feelings, around our behavior, the more we get to choose in the moment. The more that we're working like subconsciously, I was listening to this talk the other day. It was really interesting. Oh, I can't remember the words. You might need to help me with this. Let's see if you can help me. So, you know, in video games, in video games, there are two kinds of characters, right? There's the character which you're like controlling that can do all the things and you're like choosing what it does. And then there's those other characters that, that just like walk around like they've got no like soul kind of thing. But what do they call like? They're not MPVs, whatever. But there's the two kinds, right? And I always think that in life, we have a lot of people who are walking around, not like in control, doing the things on purpose, but literally just like the little minions. Like there's literally nothing going on there. Like it's switched off. And I think that bit players, is that what they're called, Karuna? Um, but so, so they're just kind of, they're just like wandering around, like bang into this wall, bang into this wall, bang into this wall. It's the little lemmings that just follow each other and fall off the edge. Um, well, a lot of us as humans are doing that, right? And even if we're not doing it all the time, we're doing it some of the time. And so the best thing that we can do for ourselves is practice to become more conscious. Because the more conscious we are, the more we notice, oh, I'm telling myself these things. I've got these thoughts running through my head. I'm taking this action just because that's my normal. That's my routine. That's my habit. Hang on. What do I want? I want this instead. So I choose this instead. And it's not about beating ourselves up and being like, oh, my God, I keep on feeding the bad wolf. I keep on feeding the bad wolf. It's like, no, like, it's OK. I'm human. Freaking human, baby. Just notice and choose something different. Just notice and choose something different. And every single time we choose something different, like that wolf is getting stronger. NPCs, that's it, NPCs, Louise has nailed it, NPCs, so that's the, that's the one I was thinking about, so we have the N, I'm I assume the NPCs are the ones that just walk around like little like zombies, yeah, yeah, exactly, cool, so the way that we change this is we become just more conscious, and the more conscious we are, the more that we choose what we're doing, how we're behaving, what we're thinking, the more that that is going to run through into our business, the faster we're going to create results, right? What was I about to say? So emotional needs, getting back on track. Emotional needs. Are you ready for the emotional needs? 
Is everyone still with me, by the way? Tara, yes, a non-playable character, NPC, that's what it stands for, right, thank you. That's exactly what it is, yes. Um, okay, so emotional needs. I want you to think about what are the emotional needs of your clients. These are the five, which you might say all of them, Claire, but which would just be the main one or two that you could key into a little bit more. So the first one is pleasure and excitement. When you think about the thing that you do, how much is pleasure and excitement a key emotional need for your people? So, for example, years ago, I started following a woman called Kim Onami. Ever, any of you ever heard of Kim Onami? Well, Kim Onami is a vaginal weightlifter. She teaches women how to strengthen their like core muscles and their um all their vaginal muscles and everything so that they have a much better sex life. She teaches women how to come properly and she teaches them all these other things, right? She's she's pretty epic, I've got to say. Like when I first found her work, I was like, whoa. Well, how important to her audience was pleasure and excitement? Really, really, really important. Because who's going to do that if they're not going to get pleasure and excitement? It's all for the pleasure and excitement, right? So how important is it in her branding in her message, in how she shows up, in the things that she talks about, how important is it that she taps into that emotion of pleasure and excitement? Really important. Because if someone looks at her stuff, looks at her pictures, listens to her, and it's missing the pleasure and excitement, they're going to be like, what? Why are people like lifting melons with their vaginas? <laughs> like, why? it's not going to make any sense right and you're definitely not going to be compelled you're just going to be like that's a bit freaking weird no thank you but if you tie that in with pleasure and excitement and you realize what it could mean for you and your sex life in the bedroom and you like get pulled into that and you're looking for that and you and you desire excitement and you're desiring pleasure because it's been missing from your life you're going to be like oh my god who is this woman and what is she doing give me more give me more give me more sign me up right so We've got to get clear on what are the emotional needs of our clients, of our people. So the first one, pleasure and excitement. The second one is freedom, right? That that desire to be free, that desire to be free. How important is that in your business for your people? Are they literally craving freedom? So the person who sells the um, uh, the camper van so that people can like literally just hop in the camper van and go explore the world, what is probably the number one emotional need? Probably freedom, right? The person who goes and buys that camper van is searching for freedom. So that needs to be tied into the message, the images, the branding. We're going to talk more about branding. I haven't even talked to you about branding. And it's such an important element of this. Not pretty pictures or websites, not talking about that, but the feeling that you give your people. Branding is the feeling that you give your people. So it ties into this like perfectly. So is it freedom? Third one, I need to blow my nose again. Hold on. I'm having to reuse tissues because I've totally ran out of my box of tissues. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. You know when it like gets stuck or like in here somewhere? That's what I've got going on. I apologize. So third one is certainty and security. Do your people just want to feel safe? Like they've been feeling unsafe. Maybe their nervous system is all over the place and they're just like searching for flipping security and certainty. And it's like, please, please take away the constant like fear, the constant bing bonging, the constant everywhere. I just want to feel safe. Could it be that? So let's say you worked with like women who'd been through trauma it's probably going to be certainty and security. How do you weave that into your marketing, your messaging, your images, the way you show up, the way you talk, the way you support them? Number four is value. People feeling valued, people feeling like they matter. So we all know that if, we, if we've gone through, like let's say someone's gone through a breakup and they're feeling like heartbroken and they just want to feel seen and acknowledged and better about themselves, valued. It might be that they go to someone to do some, like could be in a coaching to see their value, but they could go to a stylist because they want to change the way they look so that they feel better about themselves and feel more valued, right? So think about, is it important for your clients to feel valued? 
And then the final one is impact and growth. So impact and growth is when people just have that desire, like that pull, that like, like I want to be more, I want to be further, I want to have something different. Like I feel that there's something more, like something more expansive. And I just, I want to tap into that and I want to make a difference and I want to change my life and others' lives, right? So within your business, you're probably going to have a couple of these that you do, right? You're probably going to be able to say, oh yeah, it's this and this. Try not to say all of them, although I know that on some level it's going to be all of them, right? But start by focusing on one or two key ones and begin thinking about how fully does this come across in your marketing, in your message, in your visibility? Because the thing that makes you magnetic is that it's the emotional charge, right? People don't just want a list of things. They want to feel connection, that connection is everything. When I was talking about the things before, energy, beliefs, message, authenticity, what is it about all of that? Connection. How do they feel connection through that shared emotional need? You're able to fulfill the need that they have and you put that across in the way that you show up. So do you feel like you are doing this? Have you even thought about this? Have you thought about what the core emotional need is of your people? Have you thought about how you're weaving that into the way that you show up, the way that you share your message? So this is something that today I want you to go and think about because it makes a really big difference. It's going to change the way that you speak and write your messages. It's going to change the way that you show up online. It's going to change the way your, your Instagram feed looks because it's going to have different images. Like the person who wants to really purvey that feeling of freedom, those pictures, those images, where you go live is going to be completely different to the person who's trying to share certainty and security. The person who's doing freedom might want to be out and about on walks and having adventures as they go live. Hey, everyone, like you're out, you're out having an adventure, feeling free. The person who wants certainty and security might well be in the same place again and again and again because they want to create like that environment of people feeling safe with them. They know what to expect. So it's going to make a difference. It's going to make a difference to the images that you use, the colors that you use, the fonts, the branding, the keywords that you use, your energy when you show up, the way that you position your offers, the way that you sell. It's going to impact the whole thing. And so we want to start being purposeful with this rather than just like not even be, being a second thought. Yeah. OK, cool. Right. Final piece for today. Whew. Is everyone still with me? Are you enjoying this? Is it useful? Have some pieces dropped into place for you? Have you got lots to think about to begin putting into place as we move forward? I'm going to wait for you just to answer that and then we're going to carry on. Whew. Okay. Take a deep breath. Final piece for today. Thank you for the little pause. Thank you. Okay. So the ingredients, and I just put this together quickly before I call. So I'm going to take you through it and I want you to just feel into what are the ingredients that you have, which are the ingredients that you don't have, and which are the ingredients that you kind of have, but they're not working the way that you wanted them to be working. Like they're there in the jigsaw, but they're somehow messed around in the wrong place or upside down or something. They're just not fitting in properly. So I'm going to break this down into three kind of pillars. The three pillars are number one, the calling. So I want you to write down the calling in your notes. Number two, the connection. Not three pillars, it's four. The connection. Number three, the conversion. And number four, the commitment, right? So I want you to write this down as like almost three columns that way or three columns that way. The calling, the connection, the conversion, the commitment, right? Then I'm going to just talk you through what is encompassed within each one, because these are the core elements that we need in our business to ultimately build the business we desire, to make the impact, to make the sales, to receive with ease, to do our purpose work, to build that business to whatever it is that you desire, whether it's 5K months, 10K months, six-figure business, seven-figure business, or beyond, okay? It's the same elements. So the first, the calling. Well, what is the calling? We've talked quite a lot about the calling today. 
The calling is your vision. The calling is your desire. The calling is you plugging into that thing that says, oh my God, I'm doing this. It's the thing that supercharges you as you take this action in building this business. The calling is you making that decision and committing. We so often try to build our businesses from having one foot in, one foot out. Yeah, I'm kind of doing it, but I'm going to check jobs because it might not work. Yes, I'm doing it, but I'm not going to do that today or that today because those things scare me. I'm not ready. Yes, I'm doing it, but it's the yes, but essentially. Commitment is not yes, but. Commitment is I am freaking well doing this no matter what. And I recognize there's going to be twists and turns and things on my journey, of course, but I am 100% committed. Unfortunately, commitment is one of those things that's massively like lost in the world at the moment. Nowhere near enough people honor commitment. It's one of like my things that I'm so freaking passionate about. If I'm doing something, I am doing something and nothing is going to stop me. Like it would have to be really freaking big to stop me from doing the thing that I said I was committed to doing. And I think that commitment plays such a big role in us building our businesses. So the more that you can actually just say, yes, I am 100% committed and I am going to act in accordance to that commitment, the more you are going to see the results without a shadow of a doubt. It means taking action before you're ready. It means doing things that scare you. It means all of that, yes, it means you're committed. Committed as fuck. It is, the calling is also finally the clarity you having that clarity on who am I serving? Who is my sole client? And, and why? It goes back to the umbrella that we talked about. Was that yesterday or the day before? I can't even remember. Like the umbrella and the pieces underneath it is having clarity on that. So it's who am I serving and why am I doing it? And how do I desire to do it? Okay, so that's the calling element. It's the piece that like, it's the thing that literally is calling to your soul that says, come here, come here. I was, I was just going to sing what a really creepy song then. And then I realized like that's wildly inappropriate. <laughs> um, but it's that, it's that, it's the calling. It's the, like, it's that beckoning that we feel and we're like, oh, oh yeah, 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 yes. It's allowing ourselves to listen to that. It's building the vision, having the drive, having the desire, making the decision, saying yes to the commitment, creating the clarity, knowing our sole client, knowing like what we want to share with them, having that umbrella and those pieces in place. Yeah. Okay. That's the calling. After the calling comes the connection. Now we need to get a little bit like, oh, yes. So the connection is you sharing your message with impact. You showing up powerfully online and offline. You hope, like creating a space for your soul clients, a home, a platform, a place where you show up and you share and you give value, a place that your people can come to knowing that they can get like the next like the next like bit of you so that they feel inspired and excited and on track again. It's the content that you create, it's the value that you give. It's how you give people insight into your personality. You let people see you. It's how you show up in your presence powerfully as that magnet. And it's how you share in a powerful way through your personal branding. We haven't, as I say, we, we should talk about personal branding a bit because it's a really important element of this. Part of the connection is your bubble bursting strategy to get out there beyond your current people to new people, to bring them, invite them into your world. So that's the connection piece. So I just want you to think, before I go to the final two, I want you to feel into the first two. How, on a scale of one to 10, how effectively are you currently, like, have you currently got like your calling pieces in place on a scale of one to 10? 10 is I've nailed it. I want you to type a number in the chat for the calling. So type the calling and then your number next to it. So this is how like fully, not how fully you're just doing it, it's how effective it is. So that means you're doing it and it's working, right? It's not just I'm doing it, but it's not working. It's I'm doing it and it's freaking working. This is happening. Okay. All right, cool. So then we have the connection. So I want you to write connection and then put your number next to that. How fully are you having success in your connection? 
That's your message with impact. It's building the home of your soul clients. It's sharing content. It's sharing value. It's showing up. It's giving people a taste of you and sharing that you're the expert. It's utilizing those bubble bursting strategies and building your audience. Okay, cool. So then we move to the conversion and the commitment. So what is the conversion? Well, the conversion is when you take those people who are in your space and they say yes to actually working with you, buying from you to get those results. It's when they make the commitment. It's when they say, yes, I'm freaking well doing this. And the exchange happens. So the conversion is your hell yes offer. It's a super aligned offer that you are incredibly excited about, that you believe in, heart, soul, like that you look at this, you look at this thing that you've created, whether it's a product or a service, and you're like, this is a freaking thing. I believe in this completely. So it's your hell yes offer. It's that invitation where you invite them to that offer in a really beautiful, compelling way, not icky at all. It's the aligned launch formula. I'm going to talk about that in the masterclass. Um, the aligned launch formula to really activate your audience and take your sales through the roof. And it's your soul led sales plan. Like how you are selling fully, unapologetically, knowing that when you sell, you serve. That's when you get to do your purpose work. It's when your clients get the results. Yeah. So that's all part of the conversion. So I want you to write in conversion. And then where you are in relation to that. I'm going to come back because there's a, quite a bit of a delay on me sharing this and it coming through. So I'm going to come back and look at like what you've put down after, after we finish. And then finally, there's the commitment. Well, what is the commitment? The commitment is when your people have said yes. It's when they've said yes to joining you in that program, in that offer, in that experience, in that product. So it's next level client care. It's support. It's taking care of those people who have stepped up and said yes to you and giving them like epic value, blowing their socks off, giving them more support, more love, more inspiration, more everything that they could have possibly imagined to have got. That's number four, the commitment. Give me a score out of 10. All right. So, whew. They're the ingredients. And I want you to feel into where you have some of those pieces in place, where you've got those pieces, but they're not fitting. Because if you're not getting the results you desire right now, we've got missing pieces or we've got pieces the wrong way around. And we need to just change that. We need to transform that. And whenever we're working towards our next level goal, there's always going to be new pieces to twist, to change, or we'd be there already. If anyone gave me like a 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 for all of this, I'd have been like, I don't believe you because you would already be there. You'd already have the result if that was the case. Right. Whew. What I haven't had time to do with you today is the Kardashian effect, but I think I'm going to weave that into something else because I think we've had a big session and the pieces that I've shared with you today, like I've gone through them pretty quickly, but actually some of these elements, some of these pieces, they're really powerful. And I don't want you just to overlook them because we've gone through them quickly. Like your ability to tap into your power, your ability to fertilize your soil, your ability to tap into the emotional needs of your soul clients. Every single one of those things is a freaking game changer. So I really deeply invite you to sit with some of these elements for yourself today. Really sit and think, well, what are the emotional needs that I'm tapping into? How fertilized is my soil or do I need to do a bit more work? Do I need to give myself permission to be? Because here's the thing. We don't go, oh, I'm going to work on myself and then I'm going to build a business. No, like it happens together. It's like the DNA strand, right? It all happens together. Every day I'm working on me and I'm doing the business work. I'm working on me and it's this beautiful strand that's all connected and all the way of life. That's how it works. We don't say, oh, I'm just going to do this first and then I'm going to do this. So I am going to put together a workbook. I don't even know what I'm going to put in it yet <laughs> with your task for today. I think what I'm going to get you to do is feel into the emotional needs and think about how you're tying that into your content. So I'm going to put that into a workbook, turn it into a task, share it with you in probably the next half an hour. OK, so keep a lookout for that.
But I also just want you to sit with these pieces that I've shared today because we've actually covered some quite deep pieces that have the ability to transform your business. Right, on that note, I want to share just a little bit more about the Academy. Because if you've been enjoying this, if you're ready to do this, if you're 100% committed, but you've got some of those pieces missing, some of those pieces in the wrong order, we're going to fix it together. We're going to make the most beautiful, epic, freaking finished jigsaw that you could imagine. That's going to feel abundant and aligned and magnetic. We're going to take you and your business to the next level. So the academy will work for people who are just getting started in their business. So if you're just getting started, but you know you want to go, you want to get there, you want speed, you don't want to make all the mistakes, you just want to create this from the get-go, the academy is going to be a great fit. But the academy is also going to be a great fit for those of you who've been building your businesses for a while and you're just struggling to get to that next level. So whether that next level is consistent five-figure months, ten-figure months, a six-figure business this is the space for you. If you're beyond that and you're working beyond six figures, I've got other programs and things that could work with you. So, so message me if that's the case. So this is for those of you who might not even believe you can build a six figure business yet, but there's something inside of you that says, oh my God, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to stop playing small. I'm ready to go all in. And I actually want the help and support to finally help me, support me in doing this. Because I know some of you will have done courses and programs with people before where they probably like promised the world and then you got in there and there was no real support and there was no like ability for you to talk to the person running it. It was just other coaches and other things and like you had to just figure it out yourself. That is not what the Academy is about. The Academy is about how I support you every single step of the way. It's a group program. The way that it works is you get training at the beginning of each week. So that's like that's like planting the seed. I teach you the thing that you need to know for that week. Then we have a group call together. And on that group call, I coach every single person on the call because I want to know how you're implementing it. I want to know how you're moving forward with that training that I just shared so that we make sure that you're moving forward, that you're taking action and that you're doing it in a way that's actually going to get results. Then on top of that, there's a load of extra support. So I have mindset coaches in there so you can specifically get help with the mindset for those of you who are struggling to feed the right wolf. We have tech support in there, like my tech team go in. They do monthly Q&As. We've got all kinds of tech training. It's going to blow your mind. Tech is never going to stop you again. There's literally every single thing weaved into the academy that you need to have next level success. There is not one missing piece. It's a five to six month journey because we have a few implementation weeks. We work smart, not hard. The thing that I want you to do inside the academy is find your rhythm, right? This is so essential as we build our businesses. We each have a rhythm that's going to work for us. So I want to help you find your rhythm and work in alignment with your rhythm as you build your business. And we do that in the academy. And we build it out so that it works for people who have got jobs and people who are juggling kids in the evening. And we make sure that the timetable works for everyone. It is going to transform your business, but it's also going to transform your life. Because yes, I teach you the tech and the systems. I'm going to help you build an email list. I'm going to help you build an audience. I'm going to teach you how to launch. I'm going to help you really sell with soul. I'm going to give you all of that. But I'm also going to take you through a personal transformation where you become the woman, the man who has the six figure, super aligned, freaking abundant business where you learn to feed the wolf that's going to empower you every single day, where you start really like plugging in to that energy system so that you're not pushing and struggling your way to doing this. You're being pulled by a force greater than you. So the doors are open. Fast action pricing is in place. Some epic bonuses. Go and have a look through the whole page. Read all the information. Look at the bonuses because the bonuses are not just thrown in there as extra bonuses. They are very specific and very purposeful. The pricing does go up. Places will run out. So if you're thinking about this, you need to take action sooner rather than later. There is a paying full option. 
There are two payment plan options because I want th- I want to make this possible for you. And I know when I was at the start of my business, I did not have the money sitting in a bank. I was like, how do I afford to get the help and support that I need? So I've tried to make it as, as accessible as possible. And there's the option to book a call with me if you've got a question or if you want to see if it fit. So paying full, you get an extra bonus of a one-to-one with me. You can't do a one-to-one with me, right? So that's an epic bonus. So paying full option, paying five installment option, paying eight installment option, or book you've got a quick question. And it's me on the call, by the way. It's not like a team member doing a sales call. It's not a sales call. It's like, get on a call, ask me your questions. I'll answer the questions 100% honestly. Um, and then if it's aligned, it's a fit. Awesome. I'll welcome you into the academy. If it's a not fit, I'll be honest. Right. That's a wrap for today, baby. But I really hope that you've enjoyed this session. I am going to put, hold on, I need to share the page with you so you can go and actually have a little look at all this information. So let me share, let me share this with you. But I'm also going to send it out on email, right? So check your emails too. Let me pop it in the comments. There we go. Right. So Tomorrow we have day four and day four, we're going to be talking about how to utilize strategy to really attract more clients. And we're going to start talking about how you're selling in your business because we don't want to just attract an audience. There might be some of you who have a massive audience, but you're not making any money. So it's not about the size of your audience, right? So we want to know how to, yes, attract audience that's super aligned, but how do we also sell in a soul-led way so that we get to receive for the work that we do? So that's going to be tomorrow. Then we've got the two masterclasses. I hope you've got them in your diary. I hope that you've signed up. Sunday night, Tuesday morning, competition pull on Wednesday, and an array of other epic things that are going to be happening next week. It's been amazing and an honor being here with you again today. It was a completely different session to what I was originally planning. So I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I hope that, you know, we've planted some of those seeds so that they can begin to bloom within you. I hope that you can step into that belief a little bit more that you can freaking well do this because you can. This is 100% available for you. And I hope that you feel inspired and ready to dive into this work that's going to help you create the life that you desire, but also support you in doing that for your clients too. Because it's about that ripple effect, right? It's about how we help ourselves and how we help others. And as heart-led entrepreneurs, we need to get that balance right. If we make it all about other people, we'll burn out and we won't be able to do the work. If we make it about ourselves, it'll feel completely misaligned. So it has to be this beautiful scale that we're balancing all the time between how we honor ourselves and how we honor our clients and the work that we do in the world so that we can operate from that place of overflow. (sighs) Thank you for being with me. I'll see you tomorrow for day four, baby. That's it for now.